Hello, Leo, and welcome to Blunt Saji Tarot. My name is Robin. And Leo, today we're going to do a general reading. Let's talk about you, Leo. Let's see what's going on. What's been going on? It's coming down the chute. Let's see what's up with the collective. Oh, we have higher power. All right, so you're being guided by a higher power. It could be a representative of following your third eye, third eye activation. Uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, we'll see what's going on. But whatever it is, it's being divinely guided here, Leo. Let's get your cycle. It is time to breathe out. So the dissemin disseminating moon. So do your deep breathing exercises. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Inhale in. Inhale out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I don't know why I'm doing that. Just ignore me. Okay. Uh, what's the Kipper card here for Leo? We'll talk about it and see what's going on. What we got here? We have unexpected money. All right, honey. We got the house. Whoa. Someone got a gift. Getting a job offer on your house. It's going to give you lots of money, honey. Someone's cashing in on the equity. Um, but Or maybe you're just getting some unexpected money and you're buying a dream house here. <laughs> Let's talk about it, Leo. Let's see what's going on. Um, don't forget to breathe, though, when you get really excited about all this money. <laughs> all right, let's talk about you. And Leo, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one of those, the link is in the description box But no, Yeah, look, the good news burdens you. More money, more problems. Biggie told us in the 1990s, baby. Okay, well, what do we got here? Oh, there's a resistance here. The death and rebirth in reverse. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's the Ace of Swords. Whoa, that one really flew. So hold on a moment. I shall grab that card. The Temperance in reverse. Could be on Sagittarius. Could be on Scorpio. Could be on Capricorn. Maybe some session here. You got some money. Maybe you're winning the lottery. You got some envies and <laughs> haters. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Whoa, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is acting against... Well, let's see. Typically... When a court card comes in reverse in a reading, it represents someone who's having a negative influence in our life. Queen of Pentacles is a motherly figure. Could, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this person be creating some problems. It's revolving around this. Let's talk about it. Get a wand's energy for Leo. These are swords. Oh, I got a... Oh, I have a... That's weird. All right, we have the wrong card in the deck. We'll see what it is. It had to come out. <laughs> Page of Wands, excuse me, Page of Wands, like, what the hell? Five of Wands, Seven of Swords. Uh, there it is, the Ace of Swords, trying to figure out how to spend your money. Hyundai. Yeah, there's a Two of Cups. There's a conflict with this. And there's the Temperance. This person could be a Sagittarius. And there's a Two of Wands. So, it's like, it's like, well, what I feel is like you, you want on a scratcher, you got some money, or maybe an inheritance. So, you know, inheritance does cause conflict. You could have got a job promotion where you're really starting to succeed financially here, Leo. On a financial sense, there's a huge unexpected increase in your money. I do feel it's a gift. Could be a bonus, could be signing a contract, could be inheritance, could be a lottery win, could be a court win. Um, it's causing conflict in your life between a friendship and a, or a relationship here, this Queen of Pentacles. They're not being honest here with this Seven of Swords and this Five of Wands. So I, I kind of feel like someone's hitting you up for money. <laughs> Whoa. Like, hold on, this just fell. What is this? King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups could be a partnership here. Um, because we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles, but it is someone that you have a connection with, a friendship relationship with. But here's the Queen of Cups, and I feel like that's kind of you, Leo, kind of like, you know what, I'm gonna wash my hands clean of this. Um, I'm not really gonna pay much attention to you. Um, I, I whatever's going on, it's your money. So let, let's say it's an inheritance, uh, there's a Whatever's happening here, someone wants your money. Someone wants to steal your money. I don't know. I don't know how else to say that. It's causing a conflict and a strife. You know who this person is. It's kind of like a child saying, "Hey, mom, I don't want to work. Give me a million bucks. You're rich. Give me a million bucks." You know. <laughs> or it's like a, a spouse, and it's like you got this promotion, this bonus. You got an extra ten grand here, and they're like, "Here, give me your money. I'll spend it." So it's kind of like an energy of trying. Someone trying to tell you how to spend your money, or take your money, or steal your money. Um, someone that this money does not belong to. Be trying to get your money. It's stressing you out and it's burdening you. The ten of wands is also the energy. Like it could literally be like a teenager or someone in their 20s, like your child, right? And you're just like, listen, it's time to grow up. Take care of yourself, yeah. Um, but it's burdening you. And the Ten of Wands, Leo, is a message to set healthy boundaries. to Stand up for yourself um, and set those boundaries, right? Set proper expectations. Why is death and rebirth in reverse here? Queen of Swords. Wow. Ten of Swords. The three of cups, you're hurt by this person. You're frustrated. Um, hmm. You're mad that they're acting like this. So you're, 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 you know, the nine of cups is like something really great just happened to Leo. And this person's now 
turning it into something negative, right? They're having a very negative influence on this. So it's like you have this money and you want to enjoy things. Maybe you want to go on a vacation or, you know, buy your dream house or redecorate your dream house. And this person's just creating unnecessary stress and it's frustrating and you're mad and you're kind of wanting to let this go. But whoever this person is, has a very strong connection bond with you. I get it's, I think it's a family thing with this mother energy here with this queen of pentacles, but it doesn't have to be Leo. It could just be an earth sign. It could be just someone from work who's petty because you got the promotion. They did it and now they're mad. But this is an energy of someone kind of stealing your thunder, right? This is your moment. This is your time. This is your success. This should be happy. You should be celebrating. And here's this person causing all this drama and these problems in your life because they're jealous and they want what you have. And that's irritating. And you're irritated. And at the same time, you're trying to let this go. But at the same time with the death and rebirth in reverse, you know, you don't want to. You're just frustrated with the way that they're acting. You don't comprehend. What's the Ace of Swords energy? I feel like there's a little bit of a conversation that happens here. What's the Ace of Swords energy for Leo? What the? I haven't... Did I put that card back in? I did. <laughs> Let's put this in the right deck. <laughs> but it just emphasizes the conflict. Um, three of Swords. Ooh, Ten of Swords in reverse. Ooh, and a Wands. There's Queen of Swords. There's the Moon. You're... Um, you know, you're being put in a very tough position here. Your back's against the wall. The Ten of Swords in reverse is a very devastating energy. It's somebody who is hurting you and you don't expect it. And look at the cards that have come around it. So, you know, there I just I just moved them out. But there's you, disappointed, because you're happy. Like, can't they just be happy for you? You know what I mean? That's what I feel like you're saying. Like, can't you just be happy for me? Uh, you know, why are you doing this? Um, you're betrayed. You're hurt. You're fucking pissed off that they're acting like this. Um, and with the moon and the death, letting go of this friendship, relationship, connection is difficult for you. So, you know, we don't have to let it go. You could just keep them at arm's length. Just kind of keep them at a distance for the time being or do what best for you. But this person's really pissing you off, disappointing you, hurting you. And you don't know what to do. Um, because, like I said, they're like stealing your thunder. Like, there should be a moment of celebration where you're having a great time. You're dancing. You're enjoying yourself. And then this person's like, no, I'm gonna, I'm just going to put a little... Uh, What's that expression? You know, I'm going to put a little damper on their parade here. So let's put a pentacles in reverse. What do we need to know about this? Ten of cups. There's the nine of cups. There's a six. Ooh, six of cups is in reverse. There's a six of wands. They feel entitled to this somehow. There's the hermit. They feel entitled to this somehow. So it's like, it's like a, I don't know. It's someone, they feel entitled to it. Yeah, there's the, there's the eight. So it's like this person's like, hey, this money can change my life. Leo, this money can... And they they feel entitled to your money. I don't know who this person is. I do feel they're a family member of some sort, some kind, and they feel entitled to it. And there's the four of cups and the five of pentacles. And you're just kind of like, well, don't know how I feel about that. Um, so you're trying to progress forward. With the six of cups in reverse, this is projecting the past. This person's trying to ruin your... They're trying to put... What are, they're raining on your parade. That's the expression. I couldn't get it out of my mouth. They're trying to rain on your parade. Um, you're happy. You're content. You're enjoying yourself. This person's just envy, pettiest, and jealous. They just want what you have, Leo. Um, and with the six, and with, you know, they're jealous of your success here. Um, I mean, it could be even like a sister or brother where you're extremely successful in life and, and they're just not there and they're, you know, a little jealous and they're hitting you up and they want your money and, you know, that kind of thing. So you're disappointed, you're frustrated. They're projecting their insecurities onto you with the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, someone projecting their insecurities onto you. Um, but there's you. So enjoy your riches, enjoy your success here, enjoy this, this increase in your finances and abundance, um, and don't let them rain in your parade, because the temperance is in reverse, which means you're out of patience, you're done. I don't know if you really want to deal with this person anymore, they're kind of, it's just an energy of why aren't you happy for me, motherfucker, why aren't you happy for me? Um, and why would you want, like, like I said, you're at that point where you're not sure if you remove this person, if you keep them in, but you're frustrated here, Leo, because they're raining, they're taking, they're stealing your thunder, right? Remember that episode of Friends? <laughs> Monica's like, you're stealing my thunder to, to Rachel. So they, you feel like they're stealing your thunder and, and that's not right. Um, so and there's the Nine of Pentacles. There's someone definitely jealous, definitely jealous, but it's because you made the right decisions. This could have been a court case with the justice here, definitely. Um, but you made the right decisions and this person's just attached and jealous. All right, Leo, so you have a jealous ass mofo in your energy here. Let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. We'll get down to the, well, we'll get your potential outcome. When it comes to this jealous person, the situation, what does Leo need to surrender to here? Your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha uh -huh moment that will come through to guide you. Okay. What's the spirit animal message here? 
That's a spirit animal message for Leo. Buffalo. Abundance. Abundance and liberation are finally on the way. And it comes to you now to remind you of the amazing manifestation powers of gratitude. You will always have plenty when you express gratitude to every part of creation, right? When you get into that principle of appreciation, uh, you're going to have more things to appreciate. Abundant mind frame pulls in abundance. This person is in a lack mentality and they're going to continue to pull in lack and that's their decisions and their choices. So don't let them affect you, right? What's the energy oracle message here for Leo? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, can they be any more obvious? Appreciation. When one comes out of this deck, Leo, um, the message in the book. And I feel the message here is to not let this person take away from your successes here and to continue to appreciate what you have. Um, you might, yeah, I know they're upsetting you. Okay, let's get your message. There's one, um, when one comes out of the deck, I've always believed that the message in the book and I always will. Okay, so this quote, shark, this card shows a woman holding a rose. She enjoys the scent and the beauty of this blossom, but around her are bramble bushes. She could focus on these, worried that she might get caught up in their prickly branches of difficulty. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. But instead, she's experiencing the blessing of this single flower. Your unexpected money. <laughs> okay, I'm stop that, Leo. So the sun is breaking through the clouds, shining on her choice, and the buds are waiting to open up. This card is telling you that you have a lot to be grateful for. And like the flowering bush behind the woman on the card, there's more to come that you can't even see yet. So congratulate yourself on every moment that you choose appreciation. This decision shifts your consciousness from lack to value, and it is guaranteed to bring more richness and worth of life to you. Like I said before, the more this person envies you, the more that's going to be drawn towards you. So use the power of uh, metaphysics to use that envy as a positive in your life. <laughs> All right, Leo, let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions. You're going to make Leo. And when I say outcome... Let's see where you are in a month. Let's see how you're doing. Let's see how you're feeling. Let's see if this person's still up in your business. Let's see if you're just, you know, enjoying your money and laying on your yacht here. Okay, we got the two of pentacles. All right, what's on the other side of that? We got the knight of swords. Yeah. Ooh, okay, okay. Good deal. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, one more here. The moon. Yeah, Cancer, Pisces, energy. I see what's going on, Leo. Yeah, the devil. Yeah, and there's, yeah, so, and, and there's a six of pentacles, you're done. So I see you making the decision to move forward here. With the knight of swords, you might have just, like, ran. <laughs> you see them in Walmart parking lot, you'd be running the other direction, motherfucker. Uh, don't become near me. Um, you're having a fresh start, a new beginning. I don't even think you're talking to them with the moon here. I think you completely distance yourself. Maybe you're cutting them off forever. Maybe you're just taking a break. Maybe you're just ignoring them. Uh, maybe you're just not reading what they're writing or typing or saying. Um, but you're not talking to this person. They hurt you. The Ten of Swords in reverse and the Six of Pentacles is, is an energy of feeling used, feeling abused, feeling like someone's around you just for your money, right? You know how rich people kind of have that problem where they're worried about people just wanting their money. It's a big thing for celebs. So you feel used, you feel abused, you feel mad, you feel pissed off, you think they're toxic, you let them go. I also feel, I mean, they literally could be a Capricorn, but I also feel like they're, like I said, they're just sending envy energy your way. They're envious um, and that is going to continue to hurt this person and that will continue to benefit you. So you feel used, you feel abused. Yeah, there's a the four of cups. You know, you're hurt, you're upset, but you can't control what other people do. You're focused on yourself, your happiness, you're feeling good, and you've removed uh, the toxic energy from your life here, uh, Leo. Whether it's forever or whether it's just temporary or whether you're just not talking to them right now, that's up to you. Uh, but in the month, you're not talking to this person. You've made the choice to kind of move in a different direction. Uh, you want people in your life that are in your corner and going to help you, not people who are going to be jealous and want what you have. So, so Leo, that's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down. <laughs> so Leo, if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you, Leo. I always appreciate your support. Truly, truly do. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question, shall we? Yes or no? What's the answer for Leo? No, that's what I have, Leo. I really do wish you the best of luck. Until next time.